Hello everyone. Here is the next question uh, from computer organization and from the topic instructions pipelining. And this question was asked in gate 2004 for two marks. The question is a four stage pipeline has the stage delays as 150, 120, 160 and 140 nanoseconds respectively. Registers that are used between the stages have a delay of 5 nanoseconds each. Assuming constant clocking rate, the total time taken to process 1000 data items on this pipeline will be. So the rule to calculate the clock time period uh, that would be used in the CPU uh, is that the clock time period should be equals to maximum stage latency or stage delay plus the latch delay or the register delay. So here the maximum stage latency out of this four is given as is 160 nanosecond and there is a latch latency that is 5 nanosecond. So the CPU clock time period should be equals to 160 plus 5 that is 165 nanoseconds. So let me write the CPU clock time period and represent it by T. It should be equals to 160 plus 5 that is 165 nanosecond. Why should we choose uh, CPU clock time period uh, equals to that of uh, the maximum stage latency plus the latch latency? The reason being that if you choose any clock time period lesser than this time, then all the stages which has uh, greater stage latency than the CPU clock time period would not be able to complete their task successfully. And so any instruction that that is executed through the pipeline would not um, would not produce the correct result. So on one hand by decreasing the CPU clock cy cycle time period we want to improve the performance of the CPU but on the other hand we do not want to compromise with correctness of the execution right. So the CPU clock time period should be at least equals to maximum stage latency plus the register delay or the latch latency. So here the maximum stage latency is 160 nanosecond and with that if you add the latch latency then it would be equals to 165 nanoseconds. Right? So uh, I have drawn the uh, pipeline here with this vertical line I am representing uh, the register or the latch. So each of the stages would now be taking 160 nanosecond which is the maximum stage latency right and this latches would take 5 nanosecond. So there are 4 stages and 4 latches connected at the output of the stages. So if you see the first instruction would take 160 plus 5 into 4 nanoseconds to complete. That is 165 into 4. And all the subsequent instructions would take 165 more nanoseconds than uh, after the completion of previous instruction. So if you see the second instruction would take 165 more nanoseconds after the completion of the first instruction. Similarly third instruction would take 165 nanoseconds more after the completion of second, nano, uh, second uh, instruction. So likewise the subsequent after the completion of first instruction the subsequent nine, 999 instructions so total we need to execute 1000 instructions right. So after the completion of the first instruction which is taking this much time the subsequent 999 instructions would take 165 nanoseconds uh, each uh, after the completion of their respective previous instruction. So overall time time taken by the subsequent 999 instruction after completion of after completion of the first instruction would be equals to one sixty five into nine ninety nine. 
these many nanoseconds right so the total time taken by uh, for execution of all this thousand instructions is summation of this two values 165 into 4 plus 165 into 999 so let us calculate this 165 into 4 is 4 5 is 22 in hand 4 6 is 24 6 1 in hand sorry 2 in hand 4 1 is 4 to 660 nanoseconds so this is 660 nanoseconds and now coming to 165 into 999 we can actually lessen our headache of calculating this by considering it as 165 into 1000 minus 165 right we can simplify this so 165 thousand minus 165 so this would be 5 here we have 4 8 4 6 1 and to that if you add 660 660 it would come out to be 5 9 hope it is visible to you 8 plus 6 is 14 1 in hand 5 6 1 so the final result is 165495 this many nanoseconds or in microseconds as the options are given all in microseconds we can convert it to microsecond by dividing it by 1000 so it would be 165.495 microseconds so the correct answer would be the option c so thanks for watching bye